Right. Where do I begin with this trailer? Because, oh boy, did it catch me off guard. And you better believe I'm going to be spending hours and hours and hours in this world that has been created. So this will be the last reaction video that we have done uh, for the Game Awards of 2023. Uh, and hopefully you enjoyed them and hopefully you enjoyed the event as well. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into this and uh, pass you over to past me, extremely tired in the morning, reacting to this for your guys' faces. And remember, if you enjoy the video, to like, subscribe, and also leave a bloody comment. 10 years ago, No Man's Sky was revealed. 2013, yes, I remember this, and I was so hyped for it. 2017, this game development over this past 10 years has been a truly amazing story, not just for the company, but for the game as well. Like, from how it started, it was a rough launch and the developers put their heads down and gave the community what they wanted, plus more. So, I'm gonna guess they're gonna went on to new, another trailer maybe? Another update? Unless this is just an advertisement, and I could be just rambling here. But every update, they're adding new and new things and pushing the boundaries of space and world exploration. This is kind of showing like a 10 year journey, isn't it? Our journey continues. 2024. Oh. No Man's Sky. That game deserves a round of applause. That right there was <gasps> No Man's Sky, a game Sean's we here. announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. <laughs> Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what does the next decade look like? for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Uh, oh, another game. Yeah, something Hold up. very different, something Pull my drink down. more ambitious. Um, you know, for... Uh, Sean, don't do this go. to us again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this to us again. Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy. You know, it was hard. But there is something that's much harder that we wanted oh, to do. Oh, don't say it. Uh, for don't our say new it. game, we wanted to create an Earth. Um, <laughs> you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you- I'm having flashback to when Norman Sky was announced. And look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents, you know, you can see oceans. So it's just like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world. Right, something without boundaries, uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's you know a place where people can live out their sort of adventures together. Sean, don't promise too well, much, we brother. Can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah. So so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're actually everyone's here. The the Everyone from the team is here. The No Man's Sky, uh, the Hello Games team, is super uh, small. Like you said, 12 people. We're very excited to share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. Yeah, we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited if, you know, if people like it. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> we'll be back. But no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project. And Here I'm we go. That we get to show it off. Should we, should we do what it, you Sean? What yeah, are you giving us, Sean? Here we go. What are you giving us? A multiplayer Earth. It's pretty. Procedurally generated. I f oh. Oh, 
looks so pretty. Wait, is this... Is this a full base building? It's a full survival? The big ass bird. Is that a... <laughs> oh my god. Wait, and we can travel to everything here. It looks so nice. It looks so much better than No Man's Sky, like visually. What is that? Horseback riding, obviously different biomes. Oh, little rabbits. Is this a procedurally generated like village? What is this? Light nor fire. Holy crap. Remember, that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting yep, for no years publisher, to just straight developers and, uh, again, working created, on their passion. Team of Hello Games. So, uh, <sighs> very, very exciting. And I'm excited to uh, see games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going to, and hopefully TGA too. All right. Where do we begin with that? The possibilities. Like that, that is truly mind blowing. If they've done what he said he's done, it's like how, what he promised with No Man's Sky. But like, I think what they've learned over this past 10 years is how to make sure it will be optimized on release. Because I think this could be truly an amazing game. Like if it's constantly multiplayer, does that mean, obviously it's gonna be multi, multi, multiple servers and all this kind of stuff. But is it classed as an MMO or, so I would think, right, if it's one big planet, you could travel for miles and possibly come across someone. But then again, how big is the world? Is it too big? You will never come across somebody because No Man's Sky is technically the same, right? You go to, it's classed as everyone's in the same space, but you only ever meet people when you go to like the hubs and stuff. So I'm going to be honest, I'm super looking forward to this and I want to see some more information about it because I think we're going to hear a lot about it next year. It wouldn't surprise me if Sean Murray's Twitter is blowing up right now. Well, uh, he's blowing up right now with that because we can ride dragons. It looks like there was, I, I love, and you guys know this if you've been watching my content for a while, I love fantasy games that look visually stunning like that. And that looked insane. We can ride dragons, we can do base building, survival. Um, I don't think you noticed how hidden the UI was on that video. Like it was so unobtrusive. It was just near enough invisible on the screen, but it was there when you looked at it. So it was very, very subtle, but oh boy, let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments. Cause I'm, I'm eager. Cause I know a lot of you guys love survival games as much as I do. And I think it's going to be, like I said, this is going to be a banger. So, oh, I can't wait for that journey.